against the Paladin. Definitely want two mechs if I can since I got the my mech portal guy. And I know that fireball is nice, but I'm not gonna keep that. Spellbender is nice against a paladin because of blessing of kings and stuff. Hello. Like almost any buffer. Coin shielded mini bot, one of the best openers for the paladin. At starting second. Just a dude, so that slowed him down a little. And since I got my two portal guys, I'm just gonna drop both because the only weakness would be muster. More or less. And if not, he has to sacrifice both creatures into one. And I still have the other. For, duty. for my um, next turn. So he just dudes up and sacrifice both to one. Which is what I wanted to see. Because I was going to drop that anyways. Regardless. True silver. Obviously, the portal guy is really important, so you want to clean that, clean that out. Doctor Boom's nice to see, but I'm gonna play my spellbender first. And the reason for that is because it kind of baits him into mirror entity or duplicate, so he would mess up, but. Eldor is really nice for him because he has the true silver out and he can reduce damage taken. So either way, he was thinking that if even if it mirrors a 3-3, three, three, it doesn't matter. But it's not a mirror. So here I'm just going to play exact mana and just go face and see which one he wants to kill. Obviously, it looks like he's gonna definitely kill a harvest golem but it's always nice to have more mechs because my deck is actually different uh, I'm actually running Voltron in my deck so it's nice to have more mechs sky golem that's a problem for me Frostbolt's nice it's always nice to have an answer and there we go perfect and since it's at 1 health, and I have a 2-1, I might as well just do face instead of trading. Since I can freeze that 3-1, it's at 1, so I can ping it at any time I want. And this makes him play a different creature. Well, I guess that, since he knows it's not mirror. But I do have an answer for that, and it's fireball. So here I need to establish more control so I cannot just ping. So I have to drop my duplicated Harvest Golem. One of them anyways. Sneeds, huh? Sneeds is a problem for me. And the reason why I didn't want to drop Dr. Boom there is because if, he, if he's holding BGH, I'm like dead meat against the Sneeds. So it's better to have Trogzor here so that it interrupts his um, play. Oh man, Neptulon. At least he did use a spell here, so I got an extra minion. Oh, Yeti. He had to play high uh, HP creatures, which is really bad for me. Uh, it's nice to see the bomb lobber last turn, though. Because here, I really want to bomb lob 
either one of them is good, but the better target would be to get the Nectulon. And I did get the Nectulon. So that was great. Because now I can just use a ping and harvest. And the reason to keep that minion is because I want Trogzor to have more value with the Trog. That if he does buff something that the Trog will get buffed to. So here's his second Sky Golem. And his second True Silver. So he definitely wants to get the Trog out of the way because he has spells in his hand. Or at least one more spell in his hand and doesn't want it to get buffed. Flame Cannon is really nice here. Because now I can just kill the Yeti. And then Flame Cannon this guy and see what it drops. Oh. The Charger. Well, here looks like just Dr. Boom here. There we go. That's the... That's the card I wanted to see. Thank you. Spellbender is very nice to counter kings. And this is why I play that card. And here he has to spend another spell. So he has lots of spells in hand, that's why he had to kill the trog. Victory. Is he gonna concede? Yeah. That well played just showed that he's gonna concede.